welcome back. It's really nice to see you again. Uh, why don't you come sit down right here and we'll get started right away. Okay, so how have you been feeling as of late? Anything worrying you that I should particularly know about? You have trouble breathing at night? Mm, okay. And is this just specifically at night when you go to bed? Or does this happen like during the daytime? Just at night? Okay, I see. Well, it sounds to me that you just have a very minor sinus infection. It's really not a big problem. And the reason why you can't breathe at night is because when you lay down, your position changes, which means that blood pressure changes, leaving you with inflammation. But don't worry. There are lots and lots of solutions. Like staying hydrated or maybe keeping your room humid. Or you could even use a saline spray. In fact, here, I've got a spray you can have once your checkup is done. <sighs> but that brings us to a little, little problem. The thing is, I don't really want your checkup to be finished. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> I really 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 don't want your checkup to be finished that's pretty weird isn't it <laughs> usually i just want to be done with it so i don't have to stay and pretend that i care about my patients but no it's different it's different this time you i i really care about you what a shame it's been three years now since you've come for a checkup you know and you are just as beautiful as before you must have been really taking care of yourself for not paying me a visit for three years huh but I'm happy I am so so happy so happy you've taken such good care of your health But, now that you're here, everything changes. And I really don't have a choice, do I? I can't afford to wait another three years for you to come pay me another visit again, if you even decide to. In fact, I even had my assistant call you up almost every single month asking for a checkup. Ah, but to my disappointment, you just said no every single time. But here you are now, and now that you're here, I just want to take care of you forever, forever and ever and ever. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Isn't that so nice that somebody wants to take care of you forever? Isn't that just so, so comforting that you have a doctor like me by your side at all times? Oh, you are the sweetest thing ever. You know, when I first saw you at your very first checkup, Three years ago, I sort of just fell in love with you. I don't even know what's gotten into me. I don't even know why I fell in love with you. But I just did. I just did. And I never questioned it. Because love is love. But when you left, I just didn't know what to do. 
So I ended up looking through all your files, every single one of them, over and over and over, until I basically memorized everything, every little detail about you. And gosh, you really are perfect for me. You are the one for me, the only one for me. And I won't have anybody else but you. Oh, please, don't be so scared now. It's not like I have any sort of bad intentions here. I just want one thing. One thing. Well, maybe more than one thing. But the main thing is I just want to take care of you. I just want to make sure that you are the healthiest you could ever, ever be. I just want to take care of you for the rest of your life, that is. And also to make you my wife. Because I love you. I love you so, so much. Just thinking about our future. The things we'll do in our bright, bright future together. Just thinking about it makes my heart jump. You are okay with it, right? You are okay with becoming my wife, right? Now, now, I know you want to leave. But you have to understand, I can't, I can't let that happen. No, 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 no. So, please, please, I beg you, just behave and play along, okay? Otherwise, I might have to use those straps on that chair. You don't want that happening now, do you? Or if things get a little bit out of hand, I might have to put you to sleep and personally bring you back to my home. Mm, hey, I'm curious. You don't have a boyfriend, right? No? <laughs> That's wonderful, that's wonderful. Then I'll be your boyfriend, okay? Aw, oh, sweetie, don't make that face now. It doesn't, it doesn't, no it doesn't. It doesn't suit you. Don't make that face. It really, really, really does not suit those pretty eyes of yours to be frowning like that. Ah. But you really do have gorgeous eyes. They are really beautiful. Maybe that's why I fell in love with you. Or maybe it was your charming personality when you first came in through those doors. Or maybe it was the way you walked down the halls. Or maybe it's just every little thing about you that makes me go crazy for you. I love you. I love you so, so much. I love you, my sweet little angel. <laughs> Sweetie, you don't look too happy. I know, I know. But things will be better, okay? I can promise you things will be better. All you have to do is be better yourself. Be happy. Smiling makes everything better. Think about the bright side. You won't ever have to be sick again. Never, never, ever. And if you happen to get sick, 
I'll be right here by your side. I'll keep you fed. Don't worry. I'll keep you fed with all your favorite meals. I'll buy you the beautiful clothes that only you deserve because you deserve the best of the best. And I'll pretty much do anything for you. Except for letting you run away because I can't have that happening. So don't even think about it, my love. However, if, if you try to run away from me, I'll make sure I devote my entire life to chasing you down, and then I'll greet you with a nice big hug, and then I'll have to lock you up, because that's what a caring boyfriend does, am I right? <laughs> Ah, now here, take your spray to help with your sinus infection, and then we're both going home, my home, that is. <laughs>